In the beginning of this week's parsha, Yaakov Avinu is on his way to Haran to his uncle Lavan, and he stops to sleep. Chazal say for the first time in many years, he stops to sleep. He has a nevuah. The Sula Mutzav Arts of Rosh Magia Hashemayma Vinei Malach Elokim Yoldim Biordim Bo, and the Rebbeinu Shalom promises that he'll protect him and be with him. And then Yaakov Avinu wakes up. The pasuk says, "Vayikatz Yaakov Mishenaso Vayomer Achein Yesha Adonai Ba Makom Azeh Vanochi Lo Yadati Vayira Vayomar Ma No Ra Ha Makom Azeh Ein Zek Im Beis Elohim Vezeh Shara Shemayim." Rashi comments, "Vanochi Lo Yadati I didn't know Ilo Yadati Lo Yashanti If I had known what a holy place it was, I would never have slept. I would never have slept. It wouldn't have been appropriate. The Rebona Shalom has given us in, in the world many avenues to Kedusha. There's Kedusha in Torah, Kedusha in, in actions, in, in mitzvahs, Kedusha in mitzvahs. We have Kedusha in time, we have Shabbos in the Moadim, and we have Kedusha Samakom, we have places of holiness, places where Hashem Shechina is manifest more openly, where, where we divert our attention away from our worldly affairs and, and distractions, and we, we dedicate our focus and our attention to matters of Ruchnias and, and Kedusha. The halacha is, it's forbidden to use a Beis Medrash or Beis Knesses as a shortcut. If one is compelled to, then the halacha is you have to stop and learn something. And even for someone with no svarim, who doesn't know any Torah at all, he has, simply has to sit in this Makum Kadosh, in the Beis Medrash, in the Beis Knesses, to take in the environment, the Avira, the, the refined holiness of the place. The Pasuk says, Ashrei Yoshrei Vesecha. And Yeshaya, it says, Dear Shu Hashem Behi Matzo. We're familiar with that from the Medrash that says, Ben Kesel Asor, that it's the Yamim Noraim. But the other Mephorshim, the Ibn Ezra says, Dear Shu Hashem Behi Matzo. Where can Hashem be found? The Ibn Ezra says, In the Mikdash. Right? And every base Medrash and, and base Knesses we have is a Mikdash Ma'at. The Mitzuras David says, Behi Matzo is an Eretz Yisrael, the old Makom Kadosh. These are places where Hashem can be found in our Amrakoma Sakadusha. Of all the pathways, the avenues we have to Kedusha, the most tangible and, and, and physical of them all are our Mekoma Sakadoshim. Uh, they're, they're physical, geographical locations. On one hand, this can be a major advantage. Uh, it, can, it can be easier to tap into, in a sense, to channel and, and to focus in than with other sources of Kedusha, which are, are, are a little bit more abstract. On the other hand, it's also a challenge. Perhaps uh, more than, than the other sources of Kedusha. It's amenable to being brought down, to being treated to just like another place in this world, to losing our sensitivity and, and forget the respect and focus due to the Makom, forget the opportunity that we have to, uh, to connect to Kedusha in that place. Yaakov Avinu teaches us the reverence necessary for these, for these places of holiness. Ilu yadati lo yashanti. If I had known, I never would have slept there. This is no mere platitude. There are numerous halachos that, uh, that detail the respect and the proper conduct that are expected and required in, uh, in Makomos of Kedusha. The Rebona Sholem is there. We have to know and we have to behave accordingly. Yaakov Avinu says, Manora HaMakom Azeh Beis HaElokim Shar HaShamayim. So let us remember the tremendous chus that we have to have Makomos HaKedoshim in our lives, physical locations of Kedusha, and to remember the proper, the proper reverence and awe due to those places, the COVID Rosh, that we need to stop and reflect and... Uh, and behave accordingly. And the more we're able to do so, the more we'll be able to connect to and to be elevated by our Makoma Sakadushim. Chabas. <laughs>